Hey guys, it's Kugel again with another video and this time I've got an installation guide for Archidroid version 3.1.2 so stay tuned. <laughs> So yeah, uh, Archidroid is has been always a very, very, very advanced ROM because the, it has it's, pro, it's probably most the one of the most stable ROMs available for S3. Just Archie, the dude is awesome at making ROMs. They have uh, two series, uh, version ones and version twos. Version two is the one which is uh, in the lineup of Cyanogen mods. It is it has a base in Cyanogen mod, and it. Uh, builds up from that so yeah there are a lot of extra stuff which you get from Archidroid but so yeah that's what I'm going to entail in this video let's get into that now first of all what you would see here is that the recovery I'm using is theme and recovery project I have an older version I believe so it's not a problem it's not going to cause anything so I'm just going to say first of all if before you install any ROM wipe it just swipe this thing and it will factory wipe everything so you don't have to worry about anything if you don't if, if you want if you know what you're doing I would go to advanced wipe also wipe system because uh, that doesn't really get wiped if you know that your zip file is the correct one and it doesn't really have any uh, errors in it so you can go ahead and do that or else you'll have some problems so just uh, don't worry about that a factory reset would do uh, that'll be just enough so yeah let's get started go to install and travel to wherever you have uh, your uh, ROM zip file. So here it is, Archidroid version 3.1.2. Now, bear in mind this is based on Android 5.1.1, which is the latest one available right now. And uh, well, this one does have G apps, so you don't have to flash G apps uh, manually. Uh, but do have the G apps package in. Uh, standby in case something goes wrong so I just keep that in my SD card as long as it uh, is there so yeah let's go to Archidroid now swipe to confirm flash then it will start the aroma installer it does have an aroma installer you can see Archidroid um, it is by this guy so here it is uh, here's uh, for the S3 Cyanogen mod base 3.1.2 Android is this one which is 5.1.1 this is a stable release you do get nightly uh, updated releases so if you want updated releases you can go for that we, let's go next now you have a lot of options here you can select the language I pers personally prefer English so I'll be going for English now you have the change log which uh, gives you what's different in this one okay uh, what's new switched arm Linux uh, this thing tool change to stable mode fix wrong vectorization of IT whatever you can just read that if you understand that good well and good for you if you don't just don't don't bang your head against that because it doesn't really matter for you because you have read this first this is without warranty of any kind this is a disclaimer which almost all ROMs comes with so yeah it doesn't uh, whatever happens he will laugh at you if something happens to you so yeah <laughs> he will laugh at you you have to agree go next then there are third party credits I mean there are a lot of third party apps and third party mods into this ROM so you have to give credits where credit is due so yeah next in the next menu you can see presets now what presets mean is that you can actually have bare bones customize everything if you have already installed Archidroid you can go for a previous preset which will save everything there and install just the new base that's really cool previous preset expert so you can read that what it means um, don't force compatibility check expert mode will not check for compatibility check so if you know what you're doing just go for that and well the rest of them will be uh, done by its own so yeah I'm going to customize to show you guys what all it has first of all BCM profiling so this is Archidroid detect it will detect your firmware and then go and go ahead and do whatever is needed just leave it at detect and that will be good kernel is Archie kernel which is one of the best kernels I've seen for S3 so you can use that one don't go for stock one because nah it doesn't really work density you can also select the density the screen DPI setting uh, it can be 240, 280, 320, 280 is my favorite because it gives you a more real estate uh, but you can go for stock which is 320 I'm not really sure why there is a 320 and stock difference so yeah 
keyboard you can select the stock keyboard is the CM keyboard Google is the Google keyboard which I prefer launcher also you can select uh, Google now launcher Nova launcher or the stock uh, Android launcher you can have that boot animation this is a really cool feature I mean you probably have already seen all of these boot animations this one is something which I really like this is at least it is my favorite boot animation it I will show you as a preview of it because you have a preview window here now super user you can use the super user by couch or super sue by chain fire I prefer super user by couch because it is more integrated into this one um, super sue is much more easier but it is a paid service if you want pro features so yeah there are stuff there Google Apps, you can actually select what all Google Apps you need, camera, chrome, uh, music, if you select camera it will replace the AOSP camera and all that so yeah if you want the AOSP one you can go for that or you want the Google camera you can go for that so it doesn't really matter both of them are really good performers so yeah bloatware you can actually select what all bloatware you want or you or most probably you don't need it comes deselected so yeah just leave it like that expose now do not install Expose from here because I would not recommend that. Already, 5.1.1 uh, Exposed is not very stable, and you don't really want to install it with the ROM because get the ROM started and then do the uh, Exposed uh, installation because so that you have a backup and all that. So yeah, just make sure that you do have Cool Tool now. This time. Cool tool is deselected by default. I'm not sure because Archidroid <laughs> always had cool tool, and that was one of the defining features of Archidroid. I will still be using that, may not be using all the time, but cool tool is a really good feature. Greenify LMT with Pi functionality, Spirit FM. I would suggest you select all of these, maybe not Titanium Backup because if you are a very, very frequent ROM flasher, you should have a Titanium Backup. Um, uh, key for you so yeah it should be there navigation bar if you want navigation bar you can select that enable hardware keys if you select navigation bar the hardware keys will be disabled if you want navigation bar and hardware keys you have to select both of them or well in my case I won't be selecting any of them because I don't use navigation bar on my S3 also cell broadcast thank god it is an option here because cell broadcast it, it is always almost always used for spam don't select that it, you'll be better off without it so yeah let's go next next one this is the boot animation which will be animated this is the preview so yeah it's really cool you can select next and that will be it now this is normally it is zero you can actually sacrifice your input output uh, the uh, SD card spaces for your memory which is kind of like a swap uh, if you don't know what it is just leave it at that don't don't overdo anything so just don't wor don't worry about that you can actually uh, do this I have already installed Archidroid so that's the problem that's what it is showing here and if you do not have swap installed if you have uh, if you have selected something here it will give you uh, other options like swapping uh, you can uh, select the swap sizes and all that and it'll be really cool and again if you do not have uh, Archidroid installed it will also give you a warning that Archidroid it, this, this thing could not detect Archidroid and you will be able to go ahead and reselect everything if you are not sure so that is really really cool so there you have it that is the installation guide for Archidroid these are the options you get from this ROM it is really 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 in intricate it has a lot of options and you really can actually go and play with it because uh, there is an option here if you have flashed something and you want to uh, change something you can go for recovery and this this it says it uh, that uh, select this option if you want or need to update recovery prior to flashing Archidroid that is really cool if you want to change something you can go for that and just change and have the ROM working again so that is really cool so yeah that is it in the installation guide I will be here with the uh, ROM review soon enough I guess that much is it about the ROM hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye